Hi water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising, and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see why is it that they walk away from you, okay? So why is it that things have come to an end between the both of you? Why do they turn their back on you? Um, why is it that, you know, they're no longer um, in your life? What has happened here? And just, we'll see what messages are coming up around you in this very... Um, very specific person here in situation it is going to be a general reading guys so please just keep that in mind if you're after a personal tarot reading please feel free to reach out and inquire i will list my email address just before uh, just below sorry the video here Okay, um, Ace of Wands in reverse, it's the only card that's come up in reverse, the bottom of the deck is the Seven of uh, Pentacles, which tells us that some of you are waiting, I feel like, for someone to come back to you, okay, maybe this is someone who's ghosted you, maybe this is someone who's emotionally distanced themselves away from you, but I feel like this is someone whom they have pulled away, and I feel like it's like you're waiting for their return, or you're waiting for them to be, you know, that very same person you fell in love with or the very same person um, you got to know here. It just feels like there's this energy of not only waiting here, guys, but it's almost like you're longing for it. You're longing to hear from someone or to hear back from someone. You're longing for someone to come back into your life, to come back to you here. Um, it's just this sense of waiting and longing here. If you are going to wait for anyone or anything for that matter, it's probably a good idea to give yourselves a time frame because sometimes you could end up waiting forever and we don't want that to happen for you here. But I feel like it's a bit of a heavy truth as to why this person has pulled away and the truth is I don't think that this is someone whom was the right fit for you, at least not at this particular point in time. Okay, Sometimes you meet the right person in life but timing is a funny thing, right? Um, and so much of life, you know, it is about timing here. And I just feel like there's something here about the timing or the circumstances which just didn't feel right or just didn't feel natural here. I don't know that this person was as emotionally invested here. I feel like with the Emperor here and the King of Swords energy, I don't think that this person could have loved you in the way that you deserve to be loved. I also feel like maybe at times there was someone who... Um, like mistreated you or who just wasn't able to open themselves up and really allow themselves to connect with you emotionally not because that they you know you're incapable of being loved I'm going to say that it's more about them than it is about you I just feel like maybe there is some sort of blockages in their energy here maybe they didn't necessarily get the love um, that they needed and that they deserved growing up or from previous marriages or partnerships and it's kind of turned them a little bit icy it's kind of turned them cold and in return you know they've carried a sense of resentment um, trauma or hurt or a sense of bitterness and they kind of you know in life moving forward they kind of went around projecting that I just feel like this is someone who wasn't able to you know, the life that you envisioned um, having yourself with this person or just, you know, someone else for that matter, I don't think that this person was able to fulfill that, okay? And in a way, I do feel like something about this feels as though maybe that this person entering in your life was on some level you having to pay off some karmic debt that had piled up here for you. So there's some, I feel like there was some sort of karmic justice that was being served with this connection here. And I feel like something about this connection it also feels like you were paying off some sort of um some sort of karmic debt here is what I'm seeing. You've cleared you've cleared some of that here. 
Okay, and you know, karmic relationships can be filled with a lot of passion and lust, but they can be extremely difficult to maintain here. And the reason why I feel like th this may have been a karmic relationship is because there were opportunities to learn something about this person. Uh, not only about this person, okay? So there were opportunities to learn from them about yourself here that you perhaps would have never known. Maybe this person showed you just how strong and resilient you can be in them, you know, when they decided to walk away from you. Um, I feel like there were some significant life lessons in love, okay, that, were, that have sprung forth from this connection here. It's a type of connection that I feel like, you know, have, I feel like you were gripping it very tightly. I don't think that energetically, I also feel like I don't, you've, you haven't let this person go here. I feel like the both of you were magnetically drawn to each other, but you know, that's not enough to keep a relationship going here. And I feel like <clears throat> this person felt perfect for you. This person felt like they were destined for you or that they were a soulmate connection here. And I feel like because you were so wrapped up and you were so in awe here of this person that I feel like you couldn't understand why it wasn't working out for you. Or it made it very difficult because you were so in awe of them. It just made it very difficult for you to see and identify their flaws. I don't think this was a, your person. I feel like the two of you had a lot of tension in the co in, in conflict in the relationship. As in the two of you might have not have been vibrationally aligned. Or the two of you may have um, you know argued a lot, didn't see eye to eye a lot. Um, it just uh, there may have been a lot of red flags and signs also that might have indicated that this was a karmic connection as well here there may have been like um, a lot of like disagreements or bumps in the roads as well here some of it may even have been a one-sided relationship from what I can see here Okay, and therefore it may have just been self-serving here. Where you may have been doing everything in your power to keep them happy. But in the process, you know, forgot how to keep you happy here. I feel like there's also something about this person that, you know, they've come in here to help you break some sort of cycle. Cycles may be... Um, of uh, bad behavior um, that you might have learned from the past or emotional behavior from even past lifetimes and how to heal them here. I feel like at the core of this relationship and this connection here is that, you know, this is, it feels like a very purposeful karmic relationship and the purpose of that is to learn and grow from it here, okay? So, and I feel like even though I can see there were a lot of difficulties and intricacies to this connection and I feel like there were some negativities as well and there was some pain here, okay, swords are a weapon. And even though this connection might have felt destructive or poisonous or toxic here, I feel like there was still some positivity come, to come from it, okay? And I just feel like there was a lot of life lessons here or a lot of things that you learned about yourself in the process <laughs> and even about, you know, your self-worth. Maybe this person showed you what you know whom you don't deserve i feel like the purpose of this was to help your soul advance here forward in this life and help you advance forward in your healing journey here as well okay life it this person here this energy taught you a lot of life lessons here and i know it may have caused a lot of great pain in the short term but in the long term here i feel like it's going to bring you a lot of peace if you let it here Ace of Swords in reverse, don't try to hold on to something that's not meant for you. Don't try to hold on to someone who's let go of you. Don't try to hold on to anything that, you know, it's just, it's not meant for you or it's not meant to stay here. And I just feel like there's something about this connection that feels, or this person that feels like they were supposed to come into your life to teach you some lessons, but they weren't supposed to, you know, they weren't necessarily meant to stay, or at least for the time being, okay? Maybe there's just... The two of you need to do both. You both need to do some inner work, some inner healing before you can come back together here. Okay, the both need you both need to work on yourselves here. 
all right guys and these are your messages thank you as always for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel